Kitchen is brought to you by Red Gold Tomatoes. Red Gold Tomatoes, grown by families, enjoyed by families. Well, company is knocking on the door. Do you need a last-minute appetizer for those hungry visitors? Here with a fresh and simple recipe, our guest chef, Mike Brill, for Red Gold Tomatoes, is here with us. Thanks for coming in, Mike. Thanks for having me. All right, so company is coming. Yes. we got to have something good to serve up and impress them with. You've got the dish. Yes, it's a Texas hash, which is like a Tex-Mex dish in a baked tortilla cup. Ooh, okay, so how do we get started on this Texas we hash? start with a tablespoon of vegetable oil over medium-high heat. Okay. Let that heat for a little bit, and then the next step is a half a pound of uh, chorizo and a half a pound of mild pork sausage. Ooh, what, what is chorizo? What does that taste like? It's, it's a little bit spicier version of a sausage. Okay, and these, you've already cooked I, this, it's so been we're going to yes. warm it up yes. here in our, in our pot. Yep, you warm it up, stir it up. If you're cooking this at home, you'll stir it until... Uh, until uh, it all gets uh, brown. Okay. Do you need to drain it or just leave no, it? Because leave it there's not a whole lot of uh, a whole fat. lot of the fat or anything that comes off of that. Nope. So just as is. Okay. And what makes this Texan? Is it that 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 chorizo? It's the chorizo. It's what's coming up. We're going to have some green peppers. We're going to be adding some onions, some chili ready uh, red gold tomatoes, pinto beans. It's all together. And then, of course, you serve it in a, in a baked tortilla cup. Okay. So what do we need to add next? Next up is a large onion, which has been diced. Okay. And again, if you're cooking this at home, uh, after the meat has all browned up, you will keep this in here until the onions start getting just a little bit soft. Okay. And then when they're soft enough, then you take your three cans of red gold diced tomatoes, which are chili ready. Ooh. They've got chili spices and uh, chili pepper in there, and they're the perfect size uh, for serving. As you can see, the, the, the tomatoes have been cut up uh, to a perfect size. Yeah. So you add three of those cans. Well, actually, they did not see that. Oh, there now they can. There you go. And these are chili ready, so chili make sure ready. you use chili ready. Chili ready for onion. this dish, or, yes. Um, red yeah, gold. red gold's, yeah, they've got a whole lot of uh, different conversions of tomatoes, but this is the one that uh, you want to use. And you'll turn the heat down to low. Okay. And you'll cook that all on there. I'm just going to grab paper towel here really fast. Okay. You keep going. What's okay. next? Next up is three chopped green peppers. Oh. Three Could of you, them. Do they have to be fresh? Uh, I, I find best. it works best, yes. Fresh and, is best? Yep, you're actually going to uh, kind of rough chop two of them and then finally chop a third one. Why do it that way? Uh, just different because the different sizes, you find when you cook, um, different sized vegetables chopped up will cook differently, so you'll get different textures. So the, the smaller pieces will become softer, and the bigger pieces will still be still have some of that crunch. Right. So okay. So texture is always really good. Well, this is definitely looking like a Christmas colored uh, dish to it be It is a bright, it definitely up. is bright. Yeah, it's a nice bright hearty dish too. Right. Okay, up okay. next. Next up is a tablespoon of uh, Worcestershire sauce. Ooh, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. sauce. That's yes. fun to say. And okay. that goes. And then one cup of uncooked white rice. Uncooked, so yes. it's going to cook all it's up in cook there. All the juices and the heat will cook it up for you. And then uh, a, little, a little bit of uh, salt, like one and a half all teaspoons, of all of the salt. Okay. Yep. All that in Got there. Got that in there. And then you'll stir that all up, mix it all up nicely, and then you will leave it um, covered for about 25 to 30 minutes. What you're going to wait for is for uh, the juice to cook down and for the rice to start getting soft. Right. Okay. Well, we haven't mentioned yet. You are here as a representative of our friends at, at Red Gold. Yes. Why Red Gold Tomatoes? What makes them special? Well, they're special because, A, they're, they're a local, they're a Midwest company. They're based out of, they're a third generation company based out of Indiana. They use farms from all across the Midwest. And you'll find that they're, they're, they, 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 they pride themselves on fresh, fresh tomatoes, fresh product. They like, as you can see, you can compare them against any other tomatoes yeah. out there, and you'll be impressed with uh, with that. Okay. Hey, we got some beans over here. At what point do these need to be tossed That in? actually comes in at the very end. We don't need those yet. Not but the yet? next step, actually, is to make the tortilla cups. Okay, we're about on time, but let's give them okay. a little sneak peek here sneak peek of, 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 of the process that's coming. It's a simple process. All you do is you take a six and a half inch uh, flour tortilla, okay. you mold it into an upside down muffin pin. Just like so. Okay. You make it into a cup and you'll put it in the oven for about five to seven minutes on 350 degrees. So you can probably get like maybe two more in here? You can probably put so three, three at a time. Yeah, three at a time. And then how long do you bake those at? About five, five to seven minutes until they start getting brown. Okay. So what a fun way to present these. It is. These could almost be not just an appetizer, these could be like a meal. It could be a meal that you can even just not even bake them at all. Use them more like a flour tortilla, just a soft, like a taco. You can also use wonton wrappers. You, there's a whole different varieties for this recipe. The possibilities are 
are endless yes, tonight. Yes, they are. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes. we're gonna let that simmer away, add mm -hmm. our beans, and then we're gonna have the big reveal coming up shortly. For this recipe and more Red Gold Tomatoes Family Farm inspired recipes, visit CILiving.tv right now.